I should have done this video back in July. It is now November. So first I would like to apologize to everyone who has been waiting for me to do a video on Data Live Spirit Crisis. So here we are and unfortunately this is probably going to be the last one I do. At least for a while. I really didn't want to do this one. This is why it took me so long. Because the last time I did a video like this was when Global shut down. The JP version, as far as I know, is not shutting down. At least, not yet. But, there has been really nothing new to do. So, as you can see, this little yellow icon right here means it's the return login. I have not logged in in a while. Because there was... Really no motivation for me to do so. But here we are. Let me see what we have. Uh, pretty much the same old stuff. They never even added the later chapters. Mukuro's on the game. So this at least what chapter 14. Volume 14 they could have done by now. 14 or 15. Haven't done that. Got training. So. Let me see who is this for. Are they Yoshino. I'll just do this real quick. But yeah, I've seen you guys' comments. I didn't want anyone to think I was ignoring them. I just really didn't know what to say. There's literally been just nothing for months at this point. I really hate it because this, for the longest time, had been my favorite. Gotcha game, starting with the global version. And ever since they did the revamp a couple of years ago, it was just. It hasn't been the same. It is not the same game at all that I had back in 2020, 2021, before I even started making videos. But yeah, I, you see, I still have it, still have everything I have deleted it or anything. I'm not going to until the game actually shuts down. We're just gonna ride it out until then. Okay, quick. And I've noticed, yes, I do know the Chinese version has been doing a lot more. Got new origami, got Mio Takamaya, got Kurumi using the Wazio. Which I honestly was never a fan of that form, because I hate that they, they did that to Nia. But anyway, I tried this summer to download the Chinese version so I could at least keep up with the new stuff. But it's way too much you have to do for the Chinese server. For Chinese games in general, you have to do a lot more verification stuff that honestly I just could not bring myself to do. It'll be the third time I've tried starting the game over. And I was just like, okay, I'll just leave it alone. I have many other games I could be playing. Still playing Elden Ring, been playing Hyperdimension Neptunia games as well. And I've had new gacha games, such as ReZero Witches Resurrection. I cannot say that for whatever reason. ReZero Witches Resurrection. Which I've been playing since that game came out. I've I just haven't done any videos on that one either. But I have one in the vault that I'm working on. So if you guys want to stick around for that, I'll probably be doing more videos on that game in the future. And some other stuff as well. Neptune, I've taken a break from a lot of games for a while. I'm going to get back to Neptune pretty soon. Also still playing Black Clover Mobile. We got the anniversary coming up on that game. I may do some videos for that. Especially since my favorite character is finally come out. Coming out in Black Clover. Nero.
Two is two and four. Uh, and nothing. But uh, it just. It just hurts so much. I know there's a lot of people who did restart the game. I'm glad you guys were able to, to do so. Um, some of y'all been playing since the Global before me. Well, I started like as soon as the Global came out. But I just could not motivate myself to do it. I've been trying to. And I've been meaning to put out this video. Like I said back in what, July? To explain why I'm not doing too many videos on Data Live anymore. It just, I don't like doing videos like this. Especially with my favorite game that I've already done it before. But last time I tried to cope for Global and I saw what happened there. The game shut down anyway. So I'm not even trying to pretend this time. But there's so many events that they just refuse to bring back. The collab characters are all gone. That's what got me into a lot of the other series that I'm fans of. I'm a fan of now. But yeah, a lot of different shows and games that I play. I wouldn't even know about it if it wasn't for Data Live Spirit Play, the class that Global had. So, yeah. Kind of hurt when I realized we weren't going to get blind or any of those characters back. Which is why I just started playing more Neptunia games. That's the thing. See, they could have added the other quasi spirits as well by now. At least about three others that was on the anime that came out was in 2020 that they could have added. 2021, whenever it was. Totally, you still to go, as far as I'm concerned. I really can't even do a tier list for the Chinese version. Because they have so many new characters. Running here to Origami, who I was hyping up for the longest to come out here. Just didn't happen. Ouch. One time for the road. Oh, I always love this one. They took them a while to bring this back. Their Austral dress, and they finally did too. They really felt like it was going good for the first year. On uh, JP. The first year and a half, I'll say. Then they just kind of gave up on that too. Bring me up for support. Yeah, I know I'm just talking right now. Just You guys seen me kind of blip through this already. But there's really nothing else to, to do. This kind of the point I was making. Yeah. See, these characters are still so fun. But Marina, she's still one of my favorite characters. So I'm not. So I never say that I don't like the game. I just wish they didn't give up on it. They literally gave up on the global version to work on the JP version just to give up on that too. I'm just, okay. Awesome dice, I haven't been scared of you in years. I remember the old version of Global, I really could not even beat that boss. There's one thing I will say, the Global version, the old version at least was harder than 
the revamp. That made the revamp so much easier in comparison. Um, I'll do this again. The Osmodias Bell, I could not beat by myself on Globe. I had to go online for that one. But now, I, the online system, not really any point in going online because it's so easy to do by yourself. They used to have events on the old version that you had to go online for. Like the share on the gate trials and all that. I'm like I always overestimate this dash attack because it's just so fun. I always do it anyway and pretend like I'm doing something. <laughs> and Coder, your turn. New character we got. I'll use her. Mm. I'm saying for backup and Cotery. Yeah, BL for Gorg just cannot touch Cotery like ever. That's the main reason I never bother working on Mukuro either because anything you need fire for Cotery always handles it pretty well. Cotery is much easier to get. You're really free. Kind of about the clone. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, I know I'm doing magic against magic. Make it. A little more interesting. Yeah. Did I upgrade that move? I uh, probably did. Okay. Looks like I did. More clones. Trying to save for special for awakening. Come on, what are y'all doing? Get, no, don't get on me. Go to them. They're just standing back watching me. Cheering me on. Coder the three part fight against Beelphagor, which is again, if you're a Coder remain, this is the easiest boss to do. Coder or Mukuro for that matter. Okay. I watch how the last fight is gonna be bad, and I'm gonna get cooked then. <laughs> oh, there's Bell. 
Okay, okay. Corey, you sweep the list first. There's you. I don't remember how far I got with inverse origami. Oh well, we'll see. Yeah, I've done videos on pretty much everybody. This none for me to really add on to it. I don't really know how much the Chinese version changed any of the characters, so I'm you want at least a idea of how they work. I still have all of my old videos up on my account in my playlist for Data Live Spirit Pledge. So if you guys need help, you can always go and check those out. Make it up. And the biggest thing I miss will always be the infinite making door path. With a with an old Sephiroth set. I think we'll just end it off with Bell. Because you're literally not going to be any harder than Bell after that. She has super armor. Wrong way, dude. I'm too early. We step one, two. Anyway. And I've always said was saying it was just getting her super armor activated. You have to not get hit in order for it <laughs> to even work. So. All right, Moe Gummy. I think Moe or Gummy have more super armor than Tang. I didn't realize that. Away. I keep wasting this move. Okay, never mind. It works. Oh, she's running. I forgot she could do that. I get the I'm trying to get her awakened one time, but I finished too quickly. Yeah, I could never be bail on the old version. Who we fight? Well, she was the new boss. I think we'll stop right there. It just, I'll probably do the rest of that later. You guys seen me do the training mode plenty of times. Nothing really new to add. I don't think they even. Let's see. You can't do this boss solo. Yeah. But this is why I'm gonna click on. Yeah, they ever even update. Anything on here? See, I believe this was an event that came out every now and then on Global. It wasn't permanent. So sometimes they would actually reset it. But. Oh well. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. I didn't want to drag it that on too long. I don't want to feel like I'm just whining about the game. It's just disappointing. Like I said, one of my favorites. And I hate to see that they just haven't been doing anything with it. So, but yeah, that's. Hope this answers anyone's question. I, this will be my last video on Data Live Spirit Pledge, at least for a while, unless they do something new, or just straight up say the game is ending. I'll do a video then. But 
until then, hope you, I appreciate everyone who's stuck around with me these last couple of years, who supported me, and I hope I was able to help people figure out this game, especially in another language, in Japanese, if you couldn't understand it. I know I had a hard time myself. Well, not too hard because I played global, so it's pretty much the same. Except, you know, missing a lot of stuff. But, like I said, I'll be doing different games. I'm not sure how I'm going to start. I know I was working on some videos for the new ReZero game. So, we'll just see where we go from there. Hope you guys like and subscribe. And, see you guys next time.